Dear students, welcome back to our video lecture series on textile effluent treatments. So far we have covered the various characteristics and treatments for the cotton, wool and synthetic effluent effluents. So in this lecture video we will be seeing about the treatment methods, uh, especially the primary treatment methods adopted in textile effluent treatment. So the methods are screening, sedimentation, equalization, neutralization, coagulation and flocculation. So we have already learned the, these methods in our wastewater treatment subject. So uh, somewhat it will be a refreshing course like so uh, let's see about the primary treatment and the preliminary treatment methods in this video. So treatment of effluent from textile processing. So before being disposed of into either a river or land, the effluent must be treated in order to meet the disposal standards uh, to prevent the pollution of the environment. So the treatment process of textile effluent is generally classified as primary treatment secondary or uh, biological treatment, tertiary, final or advanced treatment method. So these three methods are adopted step by step in chronological order. So preliminary treatment is also referred along with or, or it's combined with preliminary uh, primary treatment and uh, is often called as primary treatment. It consists of methods to separate the floating materials heavy settleable inorganic solids, the fats, oils and greases present in the wastewater effluent. Commonly used preliminary treatment methods are screening, grit removal and skimming. So of these screening is adopted mostly for treating textile effluents for separating the textile fiber materials which are present in the effluent. Primary treatment. Primary treatment, uh, it is used to remove the large suspended organic matters or simply large suspended matters present in wastewater. It is usually accomplished by sedimentation method in settling basins. In treatment of textile effluent, both preliminary and primary treatments are considered as primary treatment method. So primary treatment for textile effluent uh, is followed by the following method or steps first is screening then sedimentation followed by equalization uh, which is which is also followed by followed by neutralization and uh, then the water uh, water effluent is treated by coagulation and flocculation secondary treatment is uh, aimed in treating by biological means or by employing microorganism to treat the organic matter present in the effluent. So it follows the primary treatment. Commonly used biological treatment methods or units in wastewater treatment are trickling filter, aeration tank, oxidation ponds, aerobic biological units, anaerobic lagoons, septic tanks, imof tanks, and are, are, which are anaero uh, anaerobic biological units. So there are two types of biological units employed. One is aerobic unit and the other one is anaerobic unit. So anaer aerobic units constitute trickling filter, aeration tank, oxidation pond which employs the aerobic bacteria to decompose the organic matter while anaerobic uh, biological units employs anaerobic microorganism to decay the matter. Secondary treatment methods include trickling filtration, acclimated sludge process, aerated lagoons, secondary sedimentation, oxidation pond, anaerobic digestion and sludge disposal as we seen in the earlier slide. Next is tertiary or advanced treatment method. It consists of removing the organic load even left after the secondary treatment. So even the organic matter which couldn't be treated in secondary treatment can be treated by this tertiary treatment. It is also known as 
chemical treatment. It is costly and an expensive method. It is also employed to recover some valuable uh, materials or uh, uh, agents present in the wastewater or uh, uh, such as uh, dissolved organic or an inorganic matter. So tertiary treatments employed are evaporation which may be by solar or steam and advanced oxidation process by membrane separation process such as microfiltration, ultrafiltration, nanofiltration and reverse osmosis and uh, we may also use ion exchange process or uh, for uh, removing dyes or colors we may use activated carbon treatment. So these are some advanced uh, treatment methods which we will be studying in our uh, unit uh, 4. So primary treatment methods which we are going to see here in detailed manner. As we seen earlier it is for employ it is employed to remove the floating materials, heavy settleable organic solid, inorganic solids and fat oil greases it also remove the large suspended organic matters from the wastewater so you'll be screen these are the various methods in uh, which comes under primary treatment first we'll be screen uh, seeing about the screening method the purpose of screening is to remove the coarse suspended materials such as rags piece of fabric fibers or yarns present in the wastewater effluent. So these are some physical uh, materials which can be removed easily by just uh, screening. So we use bar screens or mechanically cleaned fine screens to remove the almost all fibers can be removed by this uh, screening method. So, uh, so first the effluent is passed through a screen and if the need a grid chamber is needed then we go for a grid chamber. Next is the sedimentation. After this uh, screening and grid treatment we go for sedimentation. Here the fine suspended matter is passed through the screens uh, the, that is the fine suspended matter is removed after screening uh, contains the effluent which we pass through uh, sedimentation method. So the, the those materials or those uh, matters which cannot be removed by screens or can be removed economically by simple sedimentation. So it is particularly useful for treatment of waste containing high percentage of settleable solids. So the principle used here is the principle of gravity. So uh, the designed uh, the settling tank is designed in such a way that the small matter settles under the gravity alone. So the settled sludge is removed from the tank by mechanical scrappers into a hopper and pumped it out subsequently. So the design will be in such a way that it will be conical at the bottom and these scrappers removes the uh, settled solids to the center of the settling tank where our, it, uh, it is attached to a pump to remove the settled solids uh, for sludge treatment. The sedimentation is sometimes it is combined with equalization process. So this is a typical uh, settling tank or sedimentation tank. You could see that uh, it's a radial settling tank where water, uh, wastewater uh, comes through the middle section and flows radially and it is allowed to stay here for some time so that the uh, matters, suspended matter settles and the suspended matters are then scrapped by this mechanical scrapper and it is uh, brought to this hopper where the sledge is removed by pumping out. Next is equalization. So equalization is done uh, to obtain uh, more or less equal characteristic liquid that is a uniform characteristic liquid is needed so equalization is done. So the extent of impurities and pH in a textile effluent is highly variable in each step the pH varies uh, uh, with high variation and uh, if the effluent, effluent treated as it is obtained from the outlet it will cause problem with secondary treatment methods. 
So, it is therefore necessary to mix the discharge from various other processes in a equalization tank. The equalization consists of holding wastewater for some predetermined time in a basin. Uh, it is pretty similar to a sedimentation tank where uh, the water is mixed with various process water. Continuously, it is produced, uh, mixed to produce a uniform wastewater. So, next comes the neutralization. Uh, it is for uh, bringing the uh, pH to fairly neutral range. So, if the water is alkaline, we use as acid uh, agents to bring neutralization and vice versa. So, it means neutralizing excess acidity or alkalinity of wastewater. It is done by adding either alkali or as acid. This may be achieved either in equalization tank itself or in a separate neutralization tank. So, as we discussed earlier, cotton effluent has highly alkaline pH. Hence, we use a dilute sulfuric acid along with uh, boiler flue gas which contains high carbon dioxide for neutralization purpose. So, significant uh, the neutralization process is highly significant since most of the biological treatment methods operates in the range of the pH 5 to 9. So, we employ neutralization in cotton textile effluent treatment. So, next is comes the coagulation and flocculation. Uh, the, so far, uh, we have treated the water. First, we pass the water through a screen. Then, if we need to remove some grits, we use grit chamber. Then, the water comes to a sedimentation tank. Then, it flows into a equalization tank. And after equalization tank, we uh, may neutralize it in the same tank or we may use a separate tank for neutralization purposes. And next, the primary treatment is the coagulation and flocculation. So, after the water is neutralized, uh, then we send this water to a coagulation tank. Here, uh, the finely divided suspended solids and the colloidal particles um, that cannot be removed by the sedimentation process is removed in this process. In some cases, mechanical flocculation or chemical coagulation is employed. In most of the cases, uh, the both is uh, processed in the same tank in a chloriflocculator, sorry, clariflocculator. So, what is that? A mechanical flocculation is nothing but the water is mixed at a slow rate so that uh, suspended colloidal particles are uh, contact with each other and uh, form a flock for settling. Uh, coagulation is the process, it is uh, nothing but uh, chemical aided flocculation where uh, the chemical agents such as alum or copper is added to facilitate the process of flock formation and uh, the clogs are formed and uh, fair rate uh, there is a slow rate mixing is done so that these flocks form a larger particle and settle down. So, finally, the settled uh, matters are removed at the bottom as a sludge. The finely divided suspended particles uh, are uh, catalyzed or uh, it is enhanced, the formation of flock is enhanced by this coagulating agent. So, as we have seen in uh, water treatment plants, a clariflocculator where both uh, flocculation and coagulation can be combined. Uh, the such equipment can also be used. Um, in some cases, sedimentation tank is fixed with all these equipment. So, in a single sedimentation tank, uh, sedimentation, coagulation, flocculation uh, together happens. So, these are the primary treatment methods. In the next uh, video, probably which is the next unit, we will be seeing the secondary treatment methods which are the biological treatment uh, options or methods of use bacteria and other microorganisms to decompose the further left organic load in the textile effluent water. So, up to this process, still coagulation, we have removed most of the suspended impurities 
and uh, some colloidal impurities we have removed. Further organic load is removed by the biological method which we will be seeing in